We're back with another pay-per-view. They seem to just keep coming along. But are you hyped for this one? No, <laughs> you can't get hyped. <laughs> it's money in the bank. Normally a good pay-per-view. I like how you've put the emphasis on normally. Well, <laughs> recent pay-per-views have been a bit... Eh. <laughs> so here we go. Preview and predictions time. Well, in true style... We're going to start with the pre-show, which we won't watch. I definitely won't watch it this time. So, we got one match for this. And it's going to get you hyped for the main card. No! (laughs) Of course, we've got the Hype Bros. Oh, damn it. In action against the Colons. God damn it. WWE, you see what you're resorting me to? Yep, Sam's going to be there with his t-shirt. No, I'm <laughs> <definitely> not. <laughs> well, man, oh, I can see this match only going one way. It's going to get hyped. Oh, no, I, I want the Colons to win. <laughs> the only time I'm going to back the Colons. <laughs> They've got to win. They've got to put an end to the hype. <laughs> the hype sisters. Yeah. Ugh. After all that hyping, <laughs> we're, we're going to move on to the main card now. Thank and, God. And in recent tradition, I think we'll stick with it. Irrelevant. The most <laughs> relevant. Yeah. So, we can only go one way, really, I feel. We go. It's a close call. But I'm going to go with... Yes, yeah, screw it. I'm going with the WWE Championship match. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Jinder Mahal with the Singh brothers. Great. Against Randy Orton. Hmm. Why this guy is anywhere near the WWE title in 2017 is beyond me. Let alone holding it in 2017. For one reason and one reason only. They want to try and get some of that Punjabi money. Oh, sorry, I was, I was talking about Orton. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 Jinder too. <laughs> so well, we're at a loss either way. <laughs> um, do we even care who wins this match? <laughs> uh, it's no. You, you're pretty screwed either way. <laughs> it's like it goes from a boring champion I don't care about to a boring challenger I don't care about. <laughs> <sighs> You see, I can't even properly make a prediction for this match because it's solely going to depend on if Vince wants his SummerSlam match Mm. or says, nah, we're going to go with something else. Mm. Hmm. Simply because it's in St. Louis, I'm going to say Jinder will retain. Yeah, yeah, don't know, you have been... Very predictable with wrestlers wrestling in their hometown. They always lose. Mm. Uh, yeah, for that point and that point alone, yeah, I'll go with Jinder wins. I don't want him to retain. I don't. Well, I don't even want him to have the belt in the first <laughs> place. But here we are. This is the situation we're in. So yeah, and then we'll go with. Don't I SmackDown? Tag team title match. Mm. Mm. The Argos <laughs> yeah. facing off against the New Day. But which two New Day people will it be? Mm. Either way, Biggie's going to be involved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's always involved. Yeah, there's a question for you. Have, 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 have Kofi and Xavier? One time. Up that One often? time. SummerSlam last year when Biggie was out with his ring postitis. <laughs> Ah, how can we forget about ring postitis? (laughs) And the doctors had to find a cure for it. (laughs) Yeah, they even brought in Nurse Brooke to (laughs) assist them as well. (laughs) They still didn't find a cure for it. (laughs) Um, Just purely because I can't stand the Usos, uh, I'm going to say New Day. Uh, It's a real tough one. The Usos have just been really 
boring since they turned heel. Yeah, there's not really been much of an improvement. I think their promo skills have gotten worse. I can't understand them now. Yeah. Yeah, it's not great. And <sighs> plus as well, what does one day ish mean? mean or stand for I don't know <laughs> it's, a, it's a mystery <laughs> but it could be like the fashion pope I've said all along one day is H mm, it's very H <laughs> uh, yeah I agree new day need to win it and revive the tag division no that's not a pun for the revival no, either no I'm just talking about how bad the Smackdown <laughs> tag division's been let's just hope if the New Day do win it, we then don't see them for a month. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be nice. <laughs> so, on the next one. Um, I feel we've got to go for another title match. Yeah, do that. The Dunny Smackdown Women's Championship match. Naomi versus Lana. Oh, that's a shot. Yeah. Except she only come back on the telly two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the problem was they, they needed to defend the belt. Yeah, Brock, they had to defend the belt. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and as well. And who with, do they have? With, with Lana coming back as well, the question's got to be asked, where's handsome Rusev? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's had some complications with his injury, and it's going to be a bit longer. <laughs> He seemed fine when he was driving a car the other, <laughs> the other day somewhere with Lana. <laughs> no, that, that was his brother. <laughs> that was his twin brother. <laughs> uh, um, and you got to remember, no one has seen Lana wrestle. No. So, you know, she, she wasn't, and I repeat, <laughs> wasn't involved in the women's match at WrestleMania 32. Yeah. Team Total Divas versus Team Bad... And blondes. Yeah. <laughs> she was not involved in that and she was not on the same team as Naomi. <laughs> of course, people are going to look this up. <laughs> um, predictions. Again, another tough one because on one hand, you got Lana. If she loses, it's going to be, oh, well. Yeah. Uh, ah, screw it. I'm going to go ravishing Russian. <laughs> It'll be a shot. It's simply because I think... He's going to crash! <laughs> I think Naomi's title reign has been very boring. I don't think she's done much with it. Agreed. Lana to, to win the belt for the first time. Yay. She's going to make the title ravishing. <laughs> and hopefully her phone doesn't get hacked. <laughs> oh, I'm freaking out. <laughs> We've had enough of that. <laughs> So, and then we go on to part one of Money in the Bank. Mm. Let's start off with the women's Money in the Bank. You've got Becky Lynch, the Queen, Charlotte Flair, Woo. Natalia, yeah. Tamina, and Carmella. With that shellless turtle, oh. James Ellsworth. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to put this quite politely. This is only going to come down to two divas because three ain't winning it. Yeah. There's no way Natalia's winning it. There's no way Tamina's winning it. And if Carmella wins it, well, that'll be the biggest shock of the night. <laughs> yeah, I've got to agree. It's going to come down to Becky or Charlotte. Yeah, they, they might even be the last two on the ladder. Yeah. Yeah, they'll be a turn up. They're all there on the ladder and then they just push one oh. another off. <laughs> right. Prediction, prediction. Well, truth be told, I can't see it going any other way other than the Queen becomes the first woman money in the bank winner. I agree. Because it will be perfect when they turn her heel again. And it will happen. It's only going to be a matter of time before she cashes it in and says, Ha! I fooled you all. You all cheered for me. She turns her back on the WWE Universe. <laughs> yep. Ooh. And now, to the most unpredictable match of the night. Mm. 
with the exceptional one. Yes. <laughs> well, of course, we're talking money in the bank match to determine who will get that contract for a shot at the WWE Championship, which can take place any time in the next 12 months. Yeah, a whole year, and they can cash it in at any time. Any place. Even in a hotel room, like the hardcore title. Or even in the kids' play area. Yeah. <laughs> so, and this is the most difficult one to predict, yeah. other than Ziggler, because he ain't <laughs> he ain't getting anywhere near it. <laughs> so we've got your United States champion in the face of America, Kevin Owens, the barrel of America. <laughs> <gasps> Tell your mother to watch her language. <laughs> And AJ Styles. Yes. The miserable Baron Corbin. <laughs> Christ. The underdog from the underground. Sami Zayn. Let's go. Mr. Irrelevant. <laughs> Dolph Ziggler. And the king of strong style. Shinsuke Nakamura. The artiste. <laughs> Damn you with the artiste. <laughs> oh. You see. Wow. This is a tough one. Because any one of the five people that isn't Dolph Ziggler <laughs> can win it. Yeah. And I wouldn't be shocked. No. But I know which way I'm leaning towards. Okay. If I had to put money on someone winning this thing, I would say it's going to be the miserable Baron. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm tempted to go that way, but obviously there's the long-standing rumours that he's going to be fighting for the title regardless at SummerSlam. So, yeah, I'm, 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 purely for that matter, I'm, I'm not so sewn on the idea. Although, I wouldn't mind it at the same time, but... Great, I'm gonna go out when you're on a limp on my allegiance. Oh. <laughs> the face of America oh wins my God. it. And he turns smack down into the Kevin Owens show. And he is wearing a Kevin Owens t shirt. I must add. <laughs> Kevin Owens wins the money in the oh, bank. Wouldn't he be contract. the first? No, wait, you can't do that. Seth already did that. <laughs> I was thinking the the first person to hold the US and the WWE title at the same time. Yeah, um, Seth already left on that little while ago. <laughs> he did. He didn't. Did he beat Cena for the US title? He did. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So. Hmm. Uh... Oh. Well, this should be an interesting pay per view. I'm expecting good things from this SmackDown. Don't let me down. Yes. Don't balls it up. All the pieces are in place. They just got to do it right. And then I think we got one more pay per view after that before SummerSlam. Yeah, I can't for the life of me think which one. Oh, you can. Great balls of fire. Great balls up, more like. <laughs> so, and that's how we reckon money in the bank's going to go down. Yes. From him. <laughs> The one and only, Sam H. And from me, the master of the brain damage, Martin. We will see you again for the next one. And don't bore us out, Dory. Otherwise, we'll have a goddamn Billy Johnson and a goddamn <laughs> Eric Watts. <laughs> Adios.